Hello plant lovers, welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be sharing with you my top 10 favourite common house plants at the moment and of course the list does change but these are my favourites at the moment. Plants don't have to be rare to be beautiful so let's get into it. So these are in no particular order but the first one is the Syngonium Pixie and this one is similar care, well identical care actually to the Syngonium White Butterfly and this one is just super easy to take care of. It's a really adaptable plant too and one of the easiest to get hold of. All I really do to care for this plant is put it in bright indirect light. It can also handle medium light but just be aware that if you give it lower light it's probably not going to grow as fast. And then I just wait for it to almost dry out. I don't let my syngoniums dry out completely in general, but I let them almost dry out and I just keep the sort of lower part of the soil lightly moist. That seems to work for my syngoniums. And if you start noticing any brown bits on the leaves, you could try switching to using filtered water as well. That does seem to help. This one is actually a vining plant and it starts out kind of compact like this and as it grows it will start to trail so you can choose to keep it as a trailing plant or you can let it grow up something like a trellis or a pole, whatever you fancy really. This plant was sold with the label of Skindapsis pictus trevi but one of you I think said that it is also called the Exotica but either way this one is a really cool plant mine is still fairly new but it has this gorgeous silvery color on the leaves and that's what i love about it and the leaves are a really awesome shape too and they are quite tactile so if you kind of stroke it it feels quite nice but as i say this was one of my recent purchases and I just really love this plant. I've never had this plant before, but it's really easy care. And yeah, you just let it do its thing really. And again, this one is a vining plant. It will start to trail. You can also have it climbing up something again. It's t totally up to you. And yeah, with this one, I just let it dry out between watering. I have it in a spot where it gets bright and direct light. I have it in a nice well draining soil as well and yeah that's all it really needs and it's a pretty easy going plant and you will usually find this one in most garden centres too so it's super easy to get hold of. Another plant that I'm just loving at the moment is the Bachira aquatica otherwise known as the money tree and I have wanted one of these for a while now that I have one, I'm finding it really easy to care for. I let it dry out completely between watering and I have to say it's quite a fast grower too. Mine has been growing fairly fast since I got it and I haven't had any problems with it. I have mine situated in my bedroom where it gets kind of medium light and it seems perfectly happy with that. It gets a little bit of bright indirect light too. It kind of changes throughout the day. But yeah, it's growing really well for me and I'm really happy that I put this plant in my collection. I think it's a really good plant to go anywhere in the home really. As I say, I have mine in the bedroom, but it's also going to look lovely in the living room too for that cosy kind of jungle vibe. It's a really cool plant and it gets quite large too. So yeah, Pachira aquatica. Another plant that I'm just obsessed with at the moment is the Epipremnum pinnata marble queen and I'm so obsessed with this one I can't stop buying them but this one is a variegated plant and you can see it has some gorgeous variegation on the leaves And even though it kind of looks quite exotic with its variegation, this is a super common plant. You can get it pretty much anywhere and at a really low cost too. And you will want to give it some good bright indirect lights in order to keep that variegation in the leaves. But this is a super easy to care for plant. You just let it dry out between watering, give it a nice well draining soil and yeah, just put it in a spot where it gets good bright indirect light. 
Mine has actually been wanting water a few times a week at the moment, so I think it might need repotting. I have got some roots growing out of the bottom of mine. That doesn't always mean you need to repot, but the fact that it's drying out so quickly, I think I might have to check this one soon. But yeah, it seems very happy and it seems to be growing super, super well as well. And if you want a variegated plant, but you don't want to be looking for those rare, expensive plants, then this one is a great option, I'd say. This plant is the Gopercha macchiana, bit of a mouthful to say there, formerly known as Calathea. Most people still call it a Calathea. And you'll find this one in pretty much every garden centre. And if you're really worried about Calatheas because you've heard that they can be a bit finicky, I've also had some bad experiences with other Calatheas as well. But this one here, I personally have found really easy to care for out of all of the Calatheas that I've tried. Um, I've tried several and I've been very unsuccessful with a lot of them. But this one seems really fuss free. All you really need to do, I find, is make sure that you keep up with the watering so it doesn't like to dry out completely. As long as you don't let it dry out and you don't put it in a really bright spot, it seems to be pretty easy going. I give mine kind of bright indirect light to medium light and it seems really happy with that. They can also handle low light but I found that the kind of perfect spot for mine. I've moved it around a couple of times. don't like to move it around too much but just to find the right spot. And it seems pretty happy and it's putting out a lot of new growth at the moment so I'm pretty sure that it's happy. I do sometimes get a few brown edges but I wouldn't let that worry you plants are not perfect sometimes you do get a couple of brown edges but as long as it's not the majority of the plant it doesn't really worry me that much no plant is perfect so I'm absolutely fine with that another plant I think is really underrated is the rubber plant and I know these are super super common and as I say they often get kind of ignored because people are kind of bored of them but I personally really love rubber plants my favourite thing to do is to chop and prop them and I've done that with this one and you can see I've got branches on mine and um, yeah it's a really good plant for doing that too. It, they have these gorgeous glossy leaves. They do come in lots of different varieties. This specific one is the Ficus elastica robusta and all rubber plants are really really easy to care for. And yeah, I'd say they are the unsung heroes of the plant world. These look really great in the living room. They kind of look quite jungly, especially when they get big and these can get really big. I'm trying to grow mine big, but obviously you've got to give things time to grow. But I've seen some really, really huge ones in the garden centers. And every time I go to the garden center and I see these really huge rubber plants, I always think to myself, wow, I can't wait till mine is like that one day. But yeah, I've just got to be patient, just keep taking care of it and it will get there in the end. But this one has grown pretty well for me. And I actually got this one from a supermarket. It was very cheap. It was just one stem, as I say, and I've propagated and put more plants back into the pot. And that's something I kind of like doing with my plants because it gives me a bit of a project and it makes me feel like I've kind of put the effort in to work towards something. Another plant I always think is really underrated is the common umbrella plant. This one is the variegated version. They come in different sorts of colors, but I always think these are really, really underrated. They're always super cheap. They are very common, as they say, but I just think they give the home a real cozy, jungly vibe, especially since they can grow fairly large. And yeah, they are basically mini trees. And if you were to put one sort of next to the sofa that was growing quite high, or you could start with a little one like I have here and have it on a table, they do make the room look really cozy and they kind of give you a tree-like feel indoors, if you know what I mean. So it's kind of that indoor jungly vibe, which I really love. And the bonus of this one is not only is it really cheap to pick up and very common, so you can find it pretty much everywhere. It's also a fast grow once it gets going. Now, I usually find that when I first buy one of these, it goes through a little bit of an adjustment period maybe six to 12 months. I know that sounds like a long time, but it, it kind of varies. 
it will grow a little bit slower during that sort of adjustment time. That's what I found. And then once I've had it for a little while, it then starts growing really fast. I've got one in the bedroom that has grown really fast for me because I've had it for a number of years. And yeah, it, once it gets going, it does really become a satisfying plant to grow. So I'd highly recommend these. And yeah, just be patient with them. They will, they will get going eventually. This is the Ficus benjamina, otherwise known as the weeping fig. And this one I have here is the variegated version. But I think these plants are so underrated. You always see loads of them in the garden centers and people are just passing them by. They're one of those sort of standard staple plants, but I really love them. And they are so easy to care for too. Some of them are kind of known for being a bit finicky. I've heard some people say that they don't like being moved around, but I'll be really honest with you, I've moved this one around a little bit and it seems fine. It's grown really well for me and I'd say it's fairly adaptable. Um, but yeah, this plant is, I would say, so underrated. Not only is it really easy, it also is really pretty, especially the variegated version. I mean, look at those leaves. It looks really, really dainty and you can imagine that just sort of in your living room, styled next to your sofa, making it look nice and cosy, maybe with some cosy warm blankets and cushions. I just think it's a really nice plant. You do have to give it a bit of support if you'd like it to stand up. I've often wondered what would it be like to not give this plant support and to just let it kind of do its thing. I've never actually tried that, maybe I will one day, but yeah, definitely the weeping fig highly underrated and the other thing to mention is really easy to propagate you just chop a branch off pop it in some water and I find this roots so so easily so yeah you could make more plants to make a fuller plant you could make more plants to give them away to family and friends another of my all-time favorite common house plants is of course the Monstera adansonii I absolutely adore this plant I have loads of them around my house because I propagate mine on a regular basis because this plant propagates so, so easily. And yeah, if you have it growing up a pole as I have here, you will find that it looks really exotic. It gives that jungle vibe. And this is also a really adaptable plant too. So it can handle different conditions. It can handle a bit of lower light, but you will find that it grows better if you give it kind of medium to bright indirect light. I just let mine dry out between watering, really simple. I do fertilize it when it's growing. And yeah, it's just a really easy plant, very straightforward. Just make sure you don't overwater it and you probably can't go wrong to be honest. The next plant is this Diffenbachia and you can see that this one, it grows nice big leaves and it really does give that jungly vibe it's got that lovely variegation on there and yeah it's a really awesome plant for any room but it definitely looks good in your living room your living space for that indoor jungle vibe it's a real tropical looking plant and really easy to care for too it's not exactly fussy they do actually grow quite big too. Eventually the, they start to get quite tall and I cannot wait until mine gets like that. But yeah, I've had this plant for a number of months now and I find it really easy and really rewarding. It grows fairly fast, I'd say. And yeah, it's one of my favorites. And again, you'll find this everywhere. So, so what did you think of the plants in this list? Do you have any to add to the list? let us all know down below let's share our favorite plants i'd love to know what your picks would be they could be completely different to mine and that's the great thing about plants we're all different aren't we so yeah let's have a discussion in the comments and if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and until next time guys as always make sure you look after your plants and look after yourself